Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and I'm one of the UK's biggest tech creator YouTube person things. I make videos reviewing the latest tech, including this guy, which is a very special laptop and I have been using as my main workstation for the past few weeks. And so I want to share with you why I use this and also how it helps me to edit my videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so this is the new ASUS ProArt StudioBook Pro 16 OLED. Bit of a mouthful, but there's a lot going on here. And the first thing you'll notice is this, the ASUS dial. It's literally got a little rotary controller built in. But that's just the start. We also have this stunning 16 inch 4K OLED display. It's also a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which gives us that little bit extra vertical screen space. There are various SKUs of this, but in the model I've got here, I have the Ryzen 9 5900HX processor, along with an NVIDIA RTX 3070 Max-Q GPU, and that's paired with 32 gigs of RAM and a terabyte of storage. Plus, there's a huge range of ports, including a full-size SD card reader, which I find very handy, and also we've got this very nifty little privacy shutter for the webcam. The thing is though, you could use this as a gaming laptop if you wanted to, but really it's been designed for creators uh, because it's also an NVIDIA Studio certified laptop, which means uh, they thoroughly tested this with a wide range of productivity apps. We also have actually three buttons on the trackpad as well as this ASUS dial we'll come to in a second. And of course, this very color accurate high res 4K screen. So it's a great all round creator laptop, but what really makes it stand out is this, the ASUS dial, which gives you a whole nother way of interacting with programs. And the functions are contextual based on the app you're using, whether it's Premiere Pro or Photoshop, or you're just on a desktop. Although right now it is primarily the Adobe suite that supports it. But all this can be customized in the ProArt Hub, which we'll come back to in a second. So right now I've got the edit for my actual review of this studio book. I've got my A-roll, AKA me talking to the camera. I've got my audio voiceover track and also a bunch of B-roll that I need to cut down and find the best bits for and then fill in the gaps between the A-roll. Pretty straightforward. Now, considering it is just me who shoots and edits my own videos, I don't tend to use bins or color coding very much. I know I probably should, but I'm self-taught and I use this in the way that suits my workflow. But over the years, I have got faster. I use more keyboard shortcuts like C for the razor tool, V to go back to the selection, Control A to select everything and Control K to cut through all tracks. You can also hold shift and pinch in and out or use your mouse scroll wheel to expand the video or audio tracks. And also just generally you might want to move around and edit the workspaces to how you like it. So we could spend hours talking about Premiere Pro, but the bottom line is I always want to find the best way to speed up or make my workflow more efficient. And so when I first tried this little guy down here, which I wasn't convinced I would like, I must admit going back to any other laptop or even my desktop without a separate sort of control system, I do miss this. By default in Premiere Pro, you've got time axis adjustment, so you can scrub through a hundredth of a second at a time for some really fine control. Although most of the time I use it for timeline zoom, which I find a lot more intuitive than holding the Alt key and pinching in or out of the touchpad. But the thing is, it's not one or the other. You can use the dial while also scrubbing through or selecting things with the touchpad. It's built for multitasking. Then you have audio height tracks, which is handy if you're making minor tweaks to your audio, or even if you just want to shrink them down so there's more space for your video tracks on the timeline. But if you jump into the ProArt Creator Hub, and actually here I do recommend putting the laptop in rendering mode and also enabling full fan when you're working with demanding tasks to get the best performance. But under the control settings, you can edit the wheels functions. There's only four options right now in Premiere, but Photoshop and Lightroom Classic have a lot more to play with. And particularly in Lightroom Classic, being able to easily change the brush size, saturation, contrast, layer opacity, or quickly undo an action maybe. And I'm sure as you're watching this, you're thinking exactly how you would use this. You can also switch the dial to a Microsoft Wheel device if you prefer, which gives you slightly different options. But what really stuck out to me is that this isn't a gimmick. ASUS have really smartly positioned it right under where your palm is, so you never feel it when you're typing or just using the laptop normally but it's right there for your finger when you want to use it. And it means you don't have to carry any extra controllers with you on the go. And so as someone who spends half their life in Premiere Pro and then touching up photos or thumbnails in Lightroom, I found having the ASUS dial genuinely useful and it does set this apart from other creator laptops. And so then when I've edited my video, I'll throw in some background music, I'll do my color corrections, maybe add some text, export it and upload it to YouTube. Job done. So a big thank you to ASUS for sending this out for me to have a bit of a test. 
And if you do have any other questions about this, then head over to my YouTube channel, The Tech Chap, and leave a comment in my review video, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully I'll see you again soon.